Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video doing an unboxing, review, and first time brush test of the Bitvey D2 electric toothbrush, which is in this packaging right here. This is a product that I received from the company to review in this video, and I'm really excited about this product because currently you can get this on Amazon for about $18, and it's going to encompass the electric toothbrush as well as eight replacement toothbrush heads, and has all the options of more expensive toothbrushes at a much more affordable price and so what we'll do in this video is we'll go over the packaging the general features of the toothbrush then I'll walk through brushing this for the very first time and I'll provide a side-by-side -side comparison of how this performs as compared to my Oral-B Pro 1500 as well as the Lumino electric toothbrush as always if you're interested in potentially purchasing this I'll leave links in the description below okay so this is the Bitvey daily D2 electric toothbrush. Currently you can get this on Amazon for $18 for a single toothbrush with a pack of eight extra replacement brush heads, which they say should last you about a year of use. Um, additionally, they have the option of purchasing this for $40 for a pack of two toothbrushes with eight replacement heads, um, but that's actually a little bit more expensive. Um, so it's better to just purchase the single brush rather than the combined package. Um, as far as the different color options, they've got nine separate color options. Um, one is going to be black, they have lemon yellow, orange, sky blue, living coral, which is this, this color, pink, white, midnight blue, and purple. So a wide variety of color options based on your personal preference and what you want to do. Um, but they're all the exact same price independent of the color. Um, as far as the main features, it's it, uh, American Dental Association accepted. Um, so it prevents uh, cavities, plaque, gingivitis, which is always nice that you have some sort of certification to back this up um, rather than some random product that you purchase on the internet. Um, it's got eight replacement heads, which they actually say is two years of use. Um, so it's about probably a three months per each uh, head. On the side here, they highlight uh, main features of it. So it's toothbrush wall mounted storage, free up counter space, um, reduce bacterial growth by uh, storing it that way. It's IPX7 waterproof, so you can put it underwater from that standpoint and not have to worry about it. Um, there's five optional modes. User can adjust between modes uh, for different sensitivity and comfort requirements. Um, this is pretty standard for the higher end brushes. So um, my Pro 1500, I think I three separate modes and the Lumino um, toothbrush has five separate modes. Um, I've discussed this in the past, but to be honest, the different modes I think are really just a gimmick or advertisement to promote variety across products. Uh, when you look at like PubMed articles, I don't think there's actually a difference in the quality of brushing based on the modes. Um, so you don't really need to look at it too much, um, but that's very comparable to more expensive models from Oral-B, um, or Pulsonic and Lumino. Um, and then they have a two minute smart timer, which is a nice feature that's built in um, because the, the generally with electric toothbrushes, you do want to brush each quadrant for about 30 seconds or two minutes overall. So having the timer built in is nice. And what they say here is that the entire brushing process takes two minutes. There's interval pauses at 30 seconds to remind users to change brushing areas, um, which is really standard as compared to um, both the Pro, Pro 1500 as well as the Lumino, which I'll discuss side by side side as well as we look at this packaging. Um, beyond that, on the back here, it really just says that's living coral. It'll have the toothbrush handle, replacement brush heads, USB cable, instruction manual, and toothbrush holder. Um, but that's really it as far as that. So what we'll do now is we'll take this out of the packaging and take a look at it up close. Bear with me as we do this because sometimes it's difficult to get it out. And yeah, of course I ripped it. Um, but so what we got here, Um, and so we've got the actual toothbrush, which we'll take out here. It's in a nice closed packaging. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, seems really nice for the, the price, to be honest. There's the instruction manual, um, as well as some sort of, uh, yeah, they provide free replacement within one year, worry free after sale. So there's a one year warranty on this um, as far as replacing it, if it's defective, malfunctioning. Um, so that's always nice that the company provides that support. And then in this box right here, um, they're going to have um, 
the uh, toothbrush heads and accessories. So we'll open these up and then we'll take a look at the actual toothbrush once we get this all out of the packaging. So that's the charging cable. And then you have the replacement brush heads, which all come in the same packaging. Um, so let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, so right here is the charging cable. And so this is going to be a USB cable to kind of a standard like non USB C port. Um, this should go insert into the bottom. So as you see here, it clicks directly into the bottom here for charging. Again, very similar to other products on the market right now. Um, there's no wall adapter, so you will have to use some sort of a USB A port to uh, connect this to the wall. Um, but that's pretty standard, and a lot of people have those about. Um, now, as far as the brush heads, um, each one each one of them is individually packaged um, in in uh, separate um, containers here. There's a total of eight of them, um, so plenty of it brushes. Um, each one I mean, is basically, this is gonna be an ultrasonic brush, so the bristles are gonna move side to side at a high rate. I'll have to look at the rate later. Um, but it basically has an indicator on the side for the blue, so when you use it too much, it'll wear down, um, and that'll indicate when you need to replace it. And then there's green bristles on the inside. Um, they're slightly soft bristles, um, not the softest, uh, but seem to do the job for, as far as like a bristle. It's pretty standard as far as the brush. Um, nothing special as far as compared to like, for example, the Pro 1500, you have different brush heads. There's a wide variety of them um, that are really tailored towards like sensitive gums or whatnot, um, really based on your preference. But this is an oscillating brush for the Pro 1500 where it moves side to side um, versus this is gonna be ultrasonic for the, this brush, um, which is actually just a high rate. And that's very similar to the Lumino brush where this is ultrasonic as well um, that moves side to side from that standpoint and it has the different features uh, but the, 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 the there's pluses and minuses of them the oscillating at least when you look at research studies um, shows that it, at least the non-biased studies where the, um, the company didn't support them um, it shows a little bit better um, uh, cleaning uh, compared to the ultrasonic um, the other issue with ultrasonic is for those of you that have sensitive gums or teeth at least with the Illumino brush I had a lot of issues where it was too sensitive because I broke my jaw in the past and the nerve got stimulated too, too much. Um, but that's a general feature between oscillating versus ultrasonic. Um, but this one's gonna be ultrasonic, so that's what the brush head looks like. Um, as far as inserting it directly on, it seems, let's see if it, so there's a little um, outlet, or like a, a, let me see how this works. Um, there's probably a slot that slides directly onto this. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it actually slides and twists. And so that's a little bit different where it locks on to the actual brush head, which or, or the toothbrush, which is a little bit different compared to others where it slides directly on. Um, so you do have to rotate this, put it on and off for t putting it on. Um, but that's what it looks like when it's on the actual brush. It doesn't, let me see if it lines up with the front of it. Yeah, so I had it just twisted, but it does line up in the front here. Um, so that's what it is as far as putting it on. So that's the white and coral color right there. Um, and then they also have this wall mounted um, uh, storage. Um, let me see if I can get this open to get a sense of how this looks and performs. But so here, they do have instructions here. So we'll take a look at this real quick. Um, but basically it says uh, easy install, suspended wall design. So basically wipe the area clean on the wall um, and dry and then tear the veneer protective film off of um, one of these device or parts, I guess, yeah. Um, or fine, uh, it's probably just take off the 3 tape, attach it to the back of this, and then attach it to the wall. And then this will slot in where this bottom part, where it's the base of the stand, will sit like that. And then there's two prongs on the side, um, which will slide directly on in some, uh, like this. So this is, what it, this is what it looks like. So it should slide and click all the way on. So it clicks like that. Um, and then basically what, you, what you'll do is you'll put the, the 3M tape on the back and put it on the wall that way. Um, and then this, the brush will actually sit directly on, onto it like this. Sorry, the camera angle is a little bit difficult. Um, as far as this, it's like a cheap plastic design, nothing too expe like expensive or fancy. What I'll say and recommend is with the 3M, um, make sure you put this 
onto tile most likely. Do not put it directly on the wall um, where there's like a, a plaster um, or a standard wallpaper because that will tear it most likely when you take it off. So just keep that in mind. But that's what the stand looks like. Now, as far as the brush, um, so this is what the brush looks like. It says Bitvey at the top. There's a power switch and then there's five separate modes. It says white, clean, or uh, whitening, clean, cleaning, soft, polish, and gum care. Um, that's virtually identical to the Lumino brush, which is this, which is, says clean, whiten, polish, gum care, and sensitive, um, which is very similar. As far as the feel, it's like a plastic feel, soft touch. Um, it's a little bit, um, cheap feeling in the hand. Um, it's not heavy. Um, it's not crazy as far as like materials. It's, it's kind of like a plasticky cheap kind of feel to the touch. Um, but that's, that's the general gist of it. And then the power spot is on the bottom. Um, it does use a charging cable rather than a charging stand or anything like that, uh, which is a little bit different. Um, and I'm not entirely sure the battery power uh, as far as functionality and I'd have to look into it um, but we'd have to see how long this battery lasts uh, as far as on off when you press it, it immediately turns on the bristles this is the the whitening version immediately start pulsating um, as expected so that's the whitening and then when you hit it a second time it actually turns off and then if you press it again, like press it immediately again, it changes the cleaning mode. I don't see much of a difference. Maybe the, the vibration the mount is different. And then when you press it again, it turns off. And then you can toggle through. So that's soft. This is polish. Polish actually, if you see it, it vibrates the top a little bit different where the bristles are turn changing, like moving at the top a little bit differently. And then gum care, it's very similar. It vibrates slightly different. So the, it's mainly the end of the bris bristles. This last bristle actually changes. Versus like, when, so when it's whitening, it's going constant. When it's cleaning, it's like a slight vibrating constant. And then soften, soften, it's like a lighter, lighter one. And then polish, it's vibrating like intermittently. And then gum care, very similar. It's like a slower in a minute. So what you notice is, it really when you notice is like there's just a difference in the end bristles here, but beyond that, there's not a, a big difference. So there is a variation in the vibration, but nothing crazy there. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just test this out, brushing with it for the first time uh, to give you feedback as far as its functionality. All right, so now we're gonna test out the Bitvey D2 electric toothbrush. Um, just keeping in mind that I am more sensitive to ultrasonic, so we'll have to see how this goes. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the whitening mode. And so immediately with just that part, I'll say that it is a little bit like with ultrasonic, I am a little bit sensitive. My gums and teeth are not used to that because I use the ultra, uh, like the oscillating um, Pro 1500, um, but it's not overwhelming. Um, it's something that I think you just have to adjust to and get used to. Um, I'm gonna switch to the cleaning mode now. So very similar, um, it is ultrasonic. I don't notice a drastic difference there. Not, it's not crazy as far as overpowering. Now we're gonna do soft, which should be a, a, a lighter touch. And that's slightly less, less stimulating. And then last uh, second is, pol next is polish, but it'll probably be a little bit more, which is slightly more. And then lastly, we have gum care which the gum care is actually more of like an oscillation between it. It's like on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, so in general, just kind of briefly brushing with this, I don't notice a drastic difference between each type. Um, the Lumino one I had was very, very different, like as far as the speeds and like things like that. That one was overstimulating from like the, the sensitivity that I had where I really just couldn't use it. Now what I'm gonna do is just brush with this in, like from start to finish with two minutes um, and so we get a sense of how it performs. Okay, so first impressions with the, the D2 toothbrushes, 
My teeth do feel very, very clean. So it's effectiveness as far as cleaning is there. Um, they, it feels like a fresh, clean brushing. Um, very nice as far as the ultrasonic aspect of it. To be honest, a little bit better than my Pro 1500 based on recent experience with it. Um, so that's a plus there. Um, I'll say that compared to the ultrasonic nature of it, compared to the Lumino, it's much less stimulating. <coughs> I previously broke my jaw here, so my, my nerve is numb and it gets hypersensitive. And with the Lumino, it was just way too stimulating versus this one. There was a little bit of sensitivity along that one area that I'm worried about um, or have issues with. But the rest of my mouth, it felt very comfortable. So that was a nice change um, and something that I could adapt to and get really used to. Um, and then beyond that, uh, it was nice as far as the 30 second indication. You might not have noticed, but it actually just briefly vibrated at 30 seconds. Um, so that indicates which quadrant you should switch from. Um, so usually I do all the like back of the bottom and then the front of the bottom and then back of the top and front of the top, that sort of thing. Um, but it did vibrate briefly to give you a 30 seconds heads up. And then the other feature built into this is that after two minutes, it just stops brushing, um, which is nice too, because that allows you to ensure that you don't overbrush. Um, because what you'll find is if you brush too much with these electric toothbrushes, you can um, like, irritate your gums and things like that. So it really tailors this to being certain that you brush just for two minutes and nothing additional beyond that. Um, so for $18, this is a really nice, affordable toothbrush. Um, it serves the function of an electric toothbrush really well. Um, I like the fact that the ultrasonic nature isn't overstimulating. I do like the fact that the two minute timer is built in, stops automatically. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome as far as the buttons because you do have to like hit it on and then toggle through. And if you have a delay, it doesn't toggle all the way through. Um, but I'm not really worried about that because the differences are subtle, if anything. So I don't really worry about the options. Um, the other feature that this does not have is it doesn't have a pressure sensor, um, which the Pro 1500 does have. Um, for those of you that are using a manual toothbrush and switching to electric, having a pressure sensor is really nice because if you're used to brushing very hard or things like that, you don't have to do that when you use an electric toothbrush. You really just let the electric toothbrush do the work for you. So really you just press the brush against your teeth and kind of let it do the work rather than when you manly scrub, you have to kind of like scrub and pr provide pressure. Um, so the fact that it doesn't have a pressure sensor is a drawback, um, but for $18, this is a really great affordable toothbrush. Um, having eight brush heads lasts a long time. Um, and so it's a good entry level electric toothbrush as compared to more expensive models. It's a little bit cheaper in build, but that's for less than $20, you really can't complain about that. They've got nine color options, so definitely check it out. Uh, so that's all I have for this video. I'll try using this in the upcoming months, uh, see how it fu functions as compared to the other ones that I have, and uh, circle back if I run into any issues. If you have questions, post them below, but thanks for watching and have a great day.